Hello and welcome to Tech Deals How To Guide Installing Windows 10 off of a USB thumb drive. In a previous video, which will be linked below, I showed how to create one of these. You need a four gigabyte or larger USB thumb drive and access to a working Windows machine to download the Microsoft Media Creation Tool. I will link that in the description below as well. In short, the Media Creation Tool lets you create a Windows 10 install USB thumb drive that will allow you to install Windows on basically any PC. Now, this machine has got a brand new solid state drive in it. I bought this machine recently. It came with a hard drive. I didn't care about anything on it. So rather than clone the existing Windows 10 installation from the hard drive to the SSD, I just ripped the hard drive out, put a brand new solid state drive in. There's nothing on this machine now. I've got my USB thumb drive. I will insert it into an available USB port. I will press the power button to turn the machine on and it should hopefully boot straight to the USB thumb drive. And here we are booting to the USB thumb drive. Now it's worth noting, each computer is going to have a slightly different way of doing this. Some machines will do it automatically. Some machines you have to press a key such as F10 or F12 on your keyboard. The best way to find out what to do is to Google search the name of your computer, the model of your computer, and boot from USB uh, thumb drive or USB hard drive. The specific combination will vary from machine to machine. When you boot from the USB thumb drive, this is what you'll see on the screen. It's asking language, in this case English, since I speak English, United States, and keyboard is US. I'll hit next. And the only real option you have is install now. So click on install now. It reads some files from the, uh, from the thumb drive. It says setup is starting. This is a very straightforward process. Activate Windows. Now, there's two things you can do here. The first is you can click I don't have a product key down right in the middle of the screen. If you either don't have one because you've either previously upgraded to 10 and thus have a digital entitlement and you're not connected to a network or you have one but you want to put it in later, that's fine. You can click I don't have a product key. But keep in mind, Windows will work for 30 days before it starts bugging you to activate with a proper product key. In my case, I have got a Windows 7 product key on the side of my case here, and so I'm going to use it to activate Windows 10. This machine has previously been activated with Windows 10, so that key will continue to work. I'm actually filming this video the day before they stop the free upgrades, although you'll watch it well after. I'm going to trim this video while I type in my product key, and we'll be back in one second. And we're back. So I just trimmed out the typing of the product key. If you are reinstalling Windows 10 and you previously had 10 on here, just click I don't have a product key. It will automatically activate once it fully installs. So you'll be just fine. So you have to click accept the license terms. You really don't have any other available choice here. Hit next. Now you have the choice upgrade or custom. Well, we have to click custom. It's the second option um, in the middle of the screen because there's nothing to upgrade from. So we'll click custom. And it comes up with drive zero unallocated space. What shows up here for you may be slightly different depending on whether you have one or more drives installed, how big they are, and so on and so forth. The reason it says unallocated space is this drive has never been used before. There's no partitions, there's no files on it. If you are doing a reinstall of Windows 10, or maybe you're reusing a drive you had in, in a different machine, there may be different partitions here. It'll say drive zero, partition one, partition two, three. Select each of them if you want to delete them all and then click the delete button. This way Windows can install itself cleanly. If it just says unallocated space, we're good. Don't do anything except hit next right down here. Windows will set up the partitions for you. There's no need for you to do it yourself. Now it says copying files, zero percent. This part takes a couple of minutes. I will trim this out. When it's finished, we'll be right back. And we're back. Now the machine is rebooting. We have removed our USB thumb drive, and it is now installed on the solid state drive. Windows 10 will go through the initial setup process that it would go through if you had bought the machine or set it up with maybe one or two different prompts just because it doesn't know the specific machine involved. I do have the machine connected to the wired network. So it may download critical updates that you normally wouldn't see 
If it came with Windows on the machine, it just depends on the version that it comes with. It says getting ready. This part can take anywhere from a minute to five minutes, just depending upon the speed of your machine. And now we're back. I trimmed that out. It said um, getting ready and then it rebooted again and here. So I haven't had to click anything yet. From the time it rebooted after it was going through the install process, I removed the thumb drive. So far I've clicked nothing. Now it's asking for network connection. Now this machine has Wi-Fi, which is why it's asking. But we also have it set as I connected to our wired connection. So all you have to do is hit next. Now it's going to ask what settings you want to use. Do you want to use Microsoft's Express settings or do you want to customize the settings? I'm going to go ahead and click Express, but if you'd like to read through them and see what the options are, in the far left hand side of the screen in very small print it says Customize Settings. I'll hit Use Express Settings. Just a moment. This takes just a minute. Who owns this PC? The reason it's asking me this question is because I have Windows 10 Pro on this machine, not home. This computer originally came with Windows 7 Pro, so it was upgraded for free to Windows 10 Pro. I'm going to choose I own it. If you have home, it won't ask you this. Sign in with Microsoft. It wants a Microsoft account. Now, in this case, I'm going to skip it since this is a test and a demo machine. At the bottom, I'm going to choose skip this step. Who is going to use this PC? Tech Deals. Now, you should put a password in, but I'm not going to because it's a test machine. And I'll hit next. Just a moment. Hi. Isn't that friendly? This, at this point, is the same thing you would see if you had bought a brand new machine and turned it on. It would be going through this exact same process. So really the only difference to installing Windows 10 yourself beyond creating a USB thumb drive, again linked in the other video below, is making sure that you're booting from your USB thumb drive, which is different on different machines. There's no single instruction or key press I can tell you how to do that. But once you get it booted there, then you go into the setup, pick the drive you're installing to, make sure there's nothing already on it, which in this case there isn't because I put a brand new solid state drive in and then let it go through its thing. It's really, really actually very simple. The, um, the white screen initially where it was copying files and initializing, that's completely automated. It then reboots the machine, take this out, and you see what you see. It's very straightforward. Lots of great features to get excited about. I can agree with that. Windows 10 is nice in many ways. I used Windows 7 for a long time. Is it finished? I used Windows 7 for a long time. Uh, oh, it's rebooting one more time. Okay. No. Okay. It's in Windows. Boy, that was quick. I'm sitting here going, is it finished? That's really fast. I skipped Windows 8 on a lot of my machines, but 10 I'm happy with. All right. So we've just freshly installed Windows. Remember to run Windows Update whenever you install Windows 10. Even though I actually just created this uh, USB thumb drive not two hours ago, you still need to run Windows updates the first time before you do anything with your machine. Once you've done that, you're good to go. Start, settings, update and security, check for updates. We just installed with a USB thumb drive made today and there are five big updates to download. So make sure you run Windows Update whenever you install Windows 10 and then do a, a reboot to give it a fresh reboot after running Windows Update. It'll probably ask for one anyway and then you're good to go. So, did you like this video? Click like. Did you not? That's okay too. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big huge red button right down there. Um, if you subscribe, you will get updates to future how-to videos, performance videos, hardware reviews, and all kinds of tech-related deals. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions. Was this video helpful to you? Was it interesting? Um, do you need to see more or less? That's what the comment section below the video is for. Let me know what you think. If you like my channel and want to support me, and I certainly would appreciate it if you do, check out my video description below. The links in it are how you can support this channel. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, by all means, check out the video description. I would certainly appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.